A triple murder suspect has asked a Spokane judge to release him from jail because of a lack of evidence. Roy Murray is accused of killing Spokane Fire Lieutenant Terry Canfield, his wife Lisa and her son John Constable, then torching their home. He's also charged with the attempted murder of his wife, Amanda. And only KXY4's Jeff Humphrey was there when Murray challenged the probable cause that is keeping him behind bars. Nadine Murray says the state's case is purely circumstantial and the only physical evidence the detectives have actually points to his innocence. And if Murray went to trial right now, a jury might struggle to convict him. It's our first exclusive in-person look at triple murder suspect Roy Murray. Today's defense team questioned the validity of an 11-page affidavit that makes Murray seem guilty but is short on facts. Probable cause cannot be based on merely hunches, speculations, or conclusory statements. Detectives say Murray committed the murders just one day after his estranged wife asked him for divorce, that the victims were shot to death because they were urging Mrs. Murray to end their marriage. However, so far, there are no eyewitnesses who can put Murray at the crime scene. The defense says cell phone records show Murray was actually in Lewiston. They were able to determine those pings were off of cell towers in the greater Lewiston area. So the physical evidence we do have does not place Mr. Murray in the Spokane area on the night of this crime. The defense also points out that so far none of Murray's guns seized by detectives match the slugs or shell casings recovered at the scene. The defense argued that none of what appears to be blood found in Murray's car matches the victim's blood. They concede gasoline and road flares started the fires that destroyed the Canfield's home, but that just about everyone has those items either in their cars or garages. They believe the accelerant was gasoline and obviously they believe a firearm was involved. However, there's nothing that actually shows that Mr. Murray drove to Spokane and had gasoline in his car and had weapons in his car on the night of this crime. But prosecutors contend Murray had both motive and opportunity to commit these murders, that he actually hung around the crime scene an hour and a half hoping that he could kill his estranged wife as well when she got home from work. Canadian prosecutors also say it's more than just a coincidence that the only thing stolen from the Canfield's home was the gun that Marie had given to his wife as a gift. The killer left behind $3,000 in cash, and so having heard all of these arguments, Judge Michael Price agreed there is probable cause to hold Marie for trial. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.